So as of right now, 2022, Discord on Linux doesn't support streaming with audio. Luckily, there is a workaround, but it doesn't seem many people know about it, so I decided to make a video explaining it. First off, you'll need to be using Pipewire. You can check if you're using Pipewire by opening a terminal and running PACTL info. Um, then down here under server name, it should say Pulse Audio on Pipewire. That'll let you know if you're using Pipewire or Legacy Pulse Audio. Um, secondly, you'll need to use a Chrome-based web browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. Chromium should also work. Um, you'll need an extension that lets you run user scripts, like Tamper Monkey is one example. And you'll need this extension, Screen Share with Audio. Um, it's, uh, I'll put a link of this on the description of the video. Um, finally, you'll need this application called QPW Graph. Um, it's for Pipewire. It's really good. Luckily, it's on Flathub. And um, I've already installed the extension. Um, first thing you need to do is turn on WebRTC, WebRTC Pipewire support on Chrome. Um, so I just went to this flag here and made sure that's turned on enabled. Um, next thing you want to do is you'll want to run that application. So here in QPW graph, you'll see uh, these different nodes that represent different inputs and outputs. Um, so these here, um, this is my microphone on my headset. It's an output to OBS, which is recording right now. This is a monitor of what I hear. Everything that goes to my headphones, which is this input here, also goes to OBS. So this represents my headphones. And I have an instance of MPV running, so that audio is going to my headphones. So these green lines represent audio, and the cyan ones are video. But we're only really concerned with audio for this. So um, basically, what you need to do is, uh, after you've installed everything on Chrome and you've enabled Pipewire support, uh, you go ahead, you can join a Discord channel. And then if you go back to QPW graph, um, you'll see here there's now this new node that's capturing input from my microphone. So this, this represents um, what Discord is capturing right now. I'm not streaming. Um, it's just picking up what's coming in from my microphone. Some of the older solutions would have you basically connect um, an application to the microphone so that people could hear through the microphone. That's not very elegant. We're going to do something better. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start streaming now. And I have to select the window that I want to stream. In this case, it's going to be MPV. I'll share that. It asked me twice. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a bug or what that is. Um, but now I go to the graph. There's now a new um, one. And it's the Google Chrome input one. It, the name is going to be dependent on what you call it. So I think it'll be called Google Chrome input the first time. But you can then change it. Um, so I'll change it to stream out. And we don't want it to be picked up on the microphone. So I'm going to right click that and click disconnect. And instead, I'm going to connect the two channels of MPV left and right to it. Um, so now it should be streaming MPV into uh, the you can't hear because you can't really watch your own stream, but trust me, it works. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, um, if your distribution doesn't support Pipewire, it probably will in the future um, because everyone is moving towards Pipewire. There might be a way to install Pipewire on your distribution. Um, another thing is I haven't tested this on the Steam Deck but I don't see why it wouldn't work as long as SteamOS uses Pipewire, which I don't know if it does, but um, it probably does. And if it doesn't, it will soon. So uh, that's pretty much it. Hope this helps.